Yo, what's good, YouTube? Um, I'm back. Back on my fucking soapbox, YouTube. I don't even know how to begin this shit. I am so, like, fucked up right now. Like, I'm really, like, I need to vent. I'm about to vent, YouTube. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie, or the documentary, rather, The Aggressives. Um, I need to talk about this. <laughs> Because if I don't put it out there, I feel like, you know, if I don't put it out there, somebody's going to miss some important shit. <laughs> I don't know, but fuck. I need to put this out here. Um, now, like, for those of you who have not seen this movie, it came out in about, what, 2004, 2005, something like that. So it's relatively old. Um, if you haven't seen it, you can actually put it in the little search thing and go see it, you know, watch the movie clips on um, YouTube. It, it's the whole movie, so, you know, you can check it out and see for yourself. It is a movie designed to shed some light on being a dominant or, damn it, okay, being a dominant female, and of course, named the aggressors. I have such a serious issue with this documentary that is sickening it fucking turns my stomach i feel like i want to fucking throw up in my mouth just a little bit after watching this shit now i've heard i've heard about it for years i just never watched it and everyone gives this shit great reviews i don't know what you people see as far as being a aggressive dominant butch female but what I saw was the most fucked up depiction of an aggressive female I've ever seen in my life. I mean, don't get me wrong. It did shed light on an otherwise not seen portion of the community or whatever. But when you watch this movie, if you've ever whatever society pegs us as whatever fucked up stereotype that society depicts an aggressive female as this motherfucker just put it on video just to confirm everything that uh this fucked up society thinks that we are and i'm gonna go as far as to say thinks that we are as lesbian women because I mean, nobody in this. It's about it's it, it's like five different stories about like five different people, um, five different levels of aggressive, right? So none of these people go to or come from work. You know, everybody goes to balls. Everybody parties everybody's you know just living free being happy on drugs going to the club chasing women fucking i mean you couldn't find one professional lesbian stud aggressive butch dom to put in this documentary now don't get me wrong no shade to any individual that was in that movie however what was depicted and what really is was two totally different things in my book personally i think he could the, the director i think it's a guy i'm not sure but could have shown you guys in a different light i mean sure it's cool to show you kicking it in a club it's cool to show a little bit of the ball scene or whatever it is i'm not i'm not real familiar with how that goes up in new york but i hear it's a real it's a real big deal it's cool to do all of those things because that is a part of the culture it is a part of who we are but it is a small part of who we are you see what i'm saying from watching those clips and watching the movie or the documentary rather all if i had no idea what it's like or if i had no idea about the aggressive dominant stud butch whatever lifestyle and i watch this movie or this documentary all i would gather is that none of you work 
None of you have stable home lives. You go to jail. You do drugs. You party and bullshit and party and bullshit. Big shout out to the Notorious Big. That is all you fucking do as an aggressive female. You don't do anything else. That's all you do. You exist and you party. You exist and you fuck. You exist and you go to jail and you live with moms and you're trying to decide whether or not if you like lesbians for real or if you like boys that look like girls or if you like girls that look like boys i mean the whole fucking movie or documentary like the more i watched the shit the more i got pissed off about it like the more each clip that i watched i'm like you have got to be shitting me like i know that there are professional women in this world that are lesbian, that are dominant, that are aggressives, that are studs, butches. They're out there. You mean to tell me you couldn't find one that has a home, that has a car, maybe a child, a dog, a fish that could show you their home, show you that we're not all in the same little melting pot of party? You couldn't find one person that could give a better, that could give a better depiction of what the stereotype is. I mean, my God. I mean, it's just, I don't know, you guys. It's just that documentary rubbed me in so many wrong places that I just can't, I can't, it's like, I don't even know what the fucking say. And if you're watching this and if you've seen this movie and you liked it, you need to have your fucking head checked. You need to seriously have your fucking skull examined because it didn't do anything but state to society that we are exactly who you think we are. You, we do exactly what the fuck you think we do, which is nothing. Just party and fuck bitches all day. That's all we do. We don't do shit else. Just that's all we do. That is it. YouTube, I'm so fucking, I'm angry, like, right now. That movie, it pissed me off. I can't believe it. I, it really pissed me off. And it wasn't a movie, so I'm not upset at a character. It was a documentary. So I'm upset at the person, at the director for depicting these individuals like that. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm blown. I'm done. I'm flabbergasted. I'm out of gas. I can't do it. I don't, man, man, bye.